Hebe, the goddess of youth, was the daughter of Zeus and Hera. She was also a deity connected with housework. One of her jobs was to be a cupbearer at the banquets on Mount Olympus. Hebe served the nectar of immortality to the gods. In a stroke of fate, one day Hebe stumbled and dropped all the sacred nectar. The other gods could not contain their laughter. But Zeus didn't like this at all and decided to dismiss the goddess of youth from her role of serving the gods. Hera did not like Hebe being demoted from the nectar and ambrosia distribution. She warned Zeus not to choose one of his mistresses for Hebe's place. Zeus assured the goddess that no woman would take the place of the goddess of youth. Out of ideas, Zeus began watching the men, looking for someone capable of filling the open spot. Suddenly, he saw Ganymede, Prince of Troy, who was helping to shepherd the royal flocks. Ganymede had an almost divine beauty. Perhaps there had never been a mortal as beautiful as he was. Zeus decided that someone with such beauty was not meant to live among men. The presence of that gem would further enrich the abode of the gods. The supreme god took the form of an eagle and descended to earth to abduct the beautiful Ganymede. The eagle surreptitiously flew over the young man. After descending toward him, the great bird grabbed Ganymede by surprise. The beautiful young man was gently carried by the divine bird toward Mount Olympus. Ganymede stood before the gods of Olympus. They were impressed by the beauty of the mere mortal. Zeus presented him as a substitute for Hebe in the celestial banqueting duties. Ganymede had the prestigious responsibility of serving nectar and ambrosia to the gods. The young man was also given the gift of immortality retaining his youthful beauty forever. Ganymede was highly regarded by the gods, who valued the excellent service provided by the young man. Only the goddess Hera was not particularly fond of the cupbearer. She was jealous of the long periods that Zeus spent with the handsome young man. But Zeus's wife was not the only disgruntled person. The king and queen of Troy were extremely saddened by their son's disappearance. To lessen the pain of Ganymede's parents, Zeus created the constellation Aquarius, represented by the figure of young Ganymede. As they looked up into the sky, the parents knew that their son was in an honored place beside the gods of Olympus.